All right, so before we jump in and we start writing our HTML and CSS for this project, I just want to talk a little bit about design and ideas. So it really depends. Sometimes you'll get a job as a front end developer and you'll have a designer on your team that will create the UIs and create the designs and then hand them off to you. So usually it'll be like maybe a Photoshop file or a sketch file, Illustrator, some kind of graphic design program. And then it's your job to take that design and use HTML and CSS and possibly some JavaScript to recreate that so, you, so that it actually runs in the browser as a website or a web app. Um, now, a lot of the times you don't have the luxury of having a designer. You'll have to actually create everything, come up with the ideas on your own, especially if you're doing freelancing where you do absolutely everything. So what I usually do is I look at other websites and other themes for inspiration. And uh, a good way to do that is to search like theme sites. So for instance, uh, Bootstrap has a lot of not really nice themes. Bootstrap is actually a, a framework. In HTML CSS framework. I have an entire course in Bootstrap if you want to learn more about it. But let's say we search for Bootstrap themes and there's going to be all types of sites that have different uh, themes. Let's just go to this one here themes.getbootstrap.com and we can go down here and you can see some examples. Some of them are websites and some are like admin interfaces like this. That's not really what we're interested in right now, but let's take this site, for example, and this is actually selling for $50 and that that's another idea for you guys. If you get good at this after this course and you can create some decent layouts, you can actually sell them online. Um, but most of these sites have a live preview. So let's take a look at that. So what I would do is I would take a look at this layout and I would just get some ideas. So look at the header, look at how things are laid out, how the logo looks, the background image. Okay, so that's that's really the the uh, what's popular right now is to have the main large image with just a little bit of text and maybe some buttons and then underneath that have some boxes and you'll see that over and over then that that's really what's in right now. It's to keep it very clean, you know, not not crazy colors, just maybe, you know, two, two or maybe three colors with some light grays and and some dark colors. But uh, it's pretty simple. And down here we have some demo pages like the services page which again, we just have a large background with some in, with uh, some text over it. If we go down, we have three boxes with some icons. So icons are really big uh, down here. You can see we just have some text some images laid out. There's some animation in this theme, but you know, of course, you don't need to add the animation. I'm actually not a fan of a lot of animation. And again, just icons and text just like we have right here. So you'll see this over and over. So just go to different theme sites and and get some ideas, get some inspiration and don't copy them. I'm not saying just, you know, take exactly what they did and, and redo it, but take in some of the ideas from maybe four or five different themes and create something of your own so that that's what I do. That's how I create my websites and user interfaces. I'm far from a graphic designer, but uh, I think I have uh, at least a, some some eye for design and uh, it's not that hard. Just take some some uh, examples for inspiration. All right. So that's it. I just wanted to kind of talk a little bit about that before we get started. So in the next video, we're going to start to write our HTML.